What an incredible two days, right? I mean, just amazing to see the activity and, and the progress that's being made across the industry. You know, and then this against a backdrop of, of everything that's happened this past year. We started 2020, you know, thinking this is a this is a year for the history books. Uh, we just had no idea how dramatically uh, things would change. Like you, you know, our team looked at the situation and said, OK, you know, let's find the opportunity. There's always a silver lining. You know, let's get creative. Let's find ways to, to, to work with the changing circumstances. But by all means, you know, stay on task. You know, don't lose focus, uh, uh, you know, of the job at hand. And we did that. And you did that. And then, you know, so many weeks and months later to be able to look back at what we've been able to accomplish, uh, it's, it's remarkable. Uh, you know, Maxime from Green Tech did this analysis uh, where every two days uh, an African venture is raising $500,000 or more. Uh, so we're talking about 170 transactions by the end of the third quarter. The most productive quarter in African venture history. I mean, just record levels of deal making uh, taking place uh, across the continent. But then, you know, to have the validation, right? Uh, Stripe acquiring Paystack for $200 million uh, and, and knowing that it's not just a single case, uh, looking at Copa Gas, Bionic, DPO Group, TradeSafe, SendWave, We Buy Cars, you know, just this growing list of really sizable transactions that make the business case for African venture uh, clearer than, than it's ever been. And we're just getting started. Right. I mean, we're just scratching the surface on this thing. Uh, Orange Digital Ventures, they did this analysis where they show uh, dollars invested in venture per capita. Uh, so the United States, 330 million people, that's three hundred and ninety seven dollars. In Europe, it's thirty one dollars. In Asia, it's twenty one dollars. On the African continent, it's a dollar, a dollar like just thinking about the amount of capital that is going to be coming into this ecosystem blows my mind. But, you know, I think it's also at the core, the opportunity that we are developing as a community. Uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, uh, opening the door to a new chapter of growth that uh, we couldn't imagine 10 years ago. Uh, a once in a lifetime opportunity to be part of a transformational uh, industry like this. Um, you know, the work is hard. There are a lot of challenges, uh, but it's deeply meaningful. And, you know, I have to admit, it's also exciting and it's a lot of fun. And I think that comes from, you know, the partnerships and the collaborations uh, that we get to form with you uh, along the way um, and, and why we love uh, doing what we do. It's also, you know, in this spirit that next year, we really hope that we can do this event in person uh, again. Um, you know, we, we, it's not just to exchange notes about what's happening, uh, you know, in, in our business, but, you know, to, to uh, have a drink and, and a laugh uh, and to celebrate the special journey that we're on. So we've made a reservation, uh, 4th and 5th November 2021 in Cape Town. Uh, it would be amazing to, uh, to come together again, uh, uh, you know, next year's, uh, at next year's event. Uh, we're certainly going to do everything in our power uh, to make that happen. Um, but so also, you know, in closing, I uh, just want to thank our partners and sponsors. Uh, we could not do this work without your support. Uh, you know, the fact that we've worked together already for uh, several years, I think, says volumes, you know, uh, to your commitment to this space, uh, but also to the quality of the partnerships that we're building and very much uh, looking forward uh, to you know collaborating again in the in the year ahead. But so without further ado, uh, here to close out Aces 2020, uh, and looking forward to seeing you at Aces 2021. <laughs>